welcome back to my Paris series. I'm Mahua if you guys don't know me. Today I'm really excited because first of all, I am ready. Like I look cute. I'm wearing this white vest, black shirt, this red apple watch necklace thing, black velvet skirt. You guys know the drill. And I'm so excited because today I'm going to this museum. I don't even want to say it because I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong. It's Museo de... Or say I have more of a Spanish accent than French, but I'm excited to go there by myself I'm also gonna go to a cafe. I have not eaten since last night and I'm also gonna meet up with a friend as you guys know I don't have any friends in Paris obviously, but this girl is from New York and she's actually in Paris as well for work We're going to the Seine River at nighttime by the Eiffel Tower to go on the little boat ride cruise type of thing And I'm super excited. This is gonna be like my first outing with the friend. So this is the outfit. I love it so much. It's pretty chic, very casual. Also, a lot of you guys are probably wondering how I take my pictures. All the pictures that you see have been taken by myself and I literally just bring this portable tripod with me. I do not care if anyone is watching me. I will literally just plop it down and just take pictures of myself. Also, since Paris is such a touristy type of place already, a lot of people are doing that. So I don't get too much embarrassment from it, but also who cares? I'm not gonna see them ever again. So yeah, this is the vibe. well-known cafe like everyone that comes to Paris always goes there thankfully I came during a time where it's not too busy even though I didn't do it on the line but the waiters in there are so busy and I respect the job of waitressing and waiting so hard because it's such a difficult job constantly on your feet and you have to remember so many things I got this vanilla eclair type of thing I don't even know how to pronounce it I've never had that before but it was really good but now I'm going to the museum, I'm walking there. And also something else that I observed about Paris that I didn't really know before, considering all the laws. But there are a lot of brown people here, a lot of East Asian, South Asian people here, and a lot of hijabis here, which I love. And I never really knew that before, but I love this area. that this artist had to put into this painting to draw all of these different houses and different things in balloon perspective and he wasn't even in a balloon when he drew this he predicted what it would be like from a mathematical perspective from a hot air balloon and he drew all of the Parisian homes in the 1800s like you need to have a lot of precision to get that detailed I can't even do that as an artist like Paris from Gilmore Girls. Tell me not. <laughs> Let me know if you're an OG Gilmore Girls fan. Interesting how in European art, the black person or the darker person is always conveyed as a demon, a witch, or the devil, or unclean. And then the whiter person is always conveyed as purity. Interesting.
saw so many of my favorite artists at that museum, but now I'm going by the Eiffel Tower again because I'm going on that boat cruise and I'm super excited to meet up with my friend. This is my first time meeting her. By the way, if you couldn't tell, I'm really enjoying my time here in Paris. This is what I'm meant to do. Just go to art galleries, just go to cafes, not work until way later, maybe for like an hour, and just enjoy my life. Like, this is really the dream. Look at all this fall foliage. <laughs> I'm like really getting teary-eyed because just like the fact that I'm really in Paris, I've been repressing my traveling self for so long since, you know, I moved out and I had to pay bills and just take care of other stuff that, I, that is more important. But the fact that I'm actually here and life is just so serene and I'm really finally doing something that I've been pushing off for so long and I think today it finally hit me because I have more time to like actually look at things. I am so grateful for this opportunity and you know having you guys and for having this chance to do it after so long and finally being convinced by my partner but I'm in Paris, Paris. This is gonna be like the start of me traveling the traveling era, traveling Mahua is coming through. Mahua in Paris? We don't know Emily in Paris, it's Mahua in Paris. And soon, God knows where else I'm gonna go because this is just, it makes my heart happy. Look at these little bookshops and cafes and restaurants that are just like on the water. I love that. Why is this pigeon so angry? Come on pigeon, we're in Paris. Turn that frown upside down. Good morning everyone. Actually it's fully afternoon, it's 2 p.m. Please don't mind this angle. Still, I'm trying to fix my camera tripod because I've broken my luggage. I am doing a lot of walking today. I want to go to the Wall of Love. I went last time when I was in Paris, but it was closed because we went at like five o'clock with my mom. I really want to see that area today and just, you know, go eat. I feel like I haven't been eating too much. I feel like the proportions here are a lot smaller than America, so I haven't been like filled, you know, so I'm trying to get some good food I also cannot stay out too long today because I have to come home and I have a meeting and I have to record the podcast So there's like a few things that I have to do, but I'm really excited I'm not gonna wear a jacket today. Hopefully I don't jinx myself because it was raining today So I'm excited. Let's get going. Also another pro tip since I am living in this pretty big apartment by myself I have been just playing podcasts, which I do already when I'm in New York but just playing podcasts, it just makes it feel like you have a friend, you know? Today I was playing Emma Chamberlain's cheating podcast episode, so it was a vibe. It's like I have a friend in here. coffee of my trip and I hope it wakes me up with my jet lag. I'm excited, it's so good. Wow. It is still raining very heavily as you can see. I love how I said that I'm not gonna wear a jacket today out of all the days that I didn't want to. And then it starts raining. I hope it doesn't rain and it starts raining. I also am very filled from the food that I had, so I'm very fulfilled. And also it was only like 22 euros, which is like nothing considering I got a cappuccino, a crepe, a sandwich with fries and salad and everything, which in New York would be like $40, 30 something dollars.
here is the wall of love where it says I love you in all of the languages, I think. And I'm pretty sure that is in Bangla. So love the representation. And of course we have some random locks here in front of the wall of love to really secure that, right? The locks are everywhere in Paris. <laughs> It's such a beautiful area of Paris and I definitely need to come back when it's not so cold, when I have my jacket actually. But I love when it's rainy season in Paris. But I have to make it home now because I have to catch my meeting. But there are so many souvenir stores here and I literally cannot wait to fill up my luggage with so many goodies for my loved ones. I love the fact that this store is called No Smoking, but it's actually a vape shop. <laughs> Turnstile, don't do that because you check your ticket. So don't throw out your ticket and don't run the turnstile because in New York they usually don't check that and they find you if you don't have it. Good afternoon from Paris. The past few days have been so rainy and I feel like it's going to be like that for the next few days. So I kind of just want to be like snuggled in at home. But unfortunately, I don't have much food in this apartment. So I want to start cooking in this beautiful kitchen. And I want to actually like check out the grocery stores and like the local stores around here. So I'm going to go there today. Just get some food. I have been so jet lagged the past few days. Because in New York right now, it's six hours behind Paris time. I wake up in the middle of the night technically when I would be sleeping in New York. And I also feel like... Paris has beautiful food, amazing, delicious food, but it never fills me up completely. And I think that's like the American in us because, you know, we're so used to like hamburgers and fried foods and constantly food everywhere. New York stores being open 24 seven. And I think the food portions here are just a little bit tinier than what I'm used to. So even though I am eating really good, I haven't been eating enough. So I've been hungry every single day. I think also on top of that is the time difference. So when I'm hungry again, it's technically like dinner time in New New York but here it's like the middle of the night so I think I'm still used to that so today I'm just gonna explore around in this rainy city I'm excited because I'm so hungry <laughs> grocery haul i feel like i'm back in my apartment in new york where i'm doing this in my regular vlog all right so i didn't get too much food just because it wasn't too big of a grocery store but i first got this chocolate able complet <laughs> which is kind of like chocolate biscuits so i have this as a snack when i'm really like starving in the middle of the night i need something i got some good old pesto sauce you guys know i love my pesto sauce i'm so glad that i found this in Le Prince, Le Petit. And then I got some pasta. And then finally I got some white natural bread. And I'm just gonna have this as a snack as well for anything. And I think today was my first uncomfortable experience as an American in France because, you know, I can't expect everyone to know English. I'm supposed to be the one to know French. So I went to this restaurant to eat some Chinese food and the woman that works there asked her if she knows English and she didn't. So she was trying to communicate with me in French and I was trying my best to use hand signals and you know say smaller words so that she could understand and also she was saying it in smaller language or smaller words for me to understand in French and so we were trying our best to do that but there were still some points where it's like we couldn't communicate properly because you know there was just no sense of like middle ground with our languages i mean regardless that's gonna happen when you're solo traveling when you don't know the language beyond that most people do know english and even if they don't this is a learning experience and i'm supposed to be uncomfortable so i'm fine with it for the most part but i think today was just like ugh, you know i wish i knew french but here we are learning to go to paris for a really long time right like i've
taste test of these biscuit slash chocolate cookies. Mm. Okay, this is so good. It reminds me of like just like crackers with chocolate in between or something they would have with s'mores or by the campfire. I have the perfect view right now and you know the sound of rain when it's right by you? That's what I have right now, I hear that. It's perfect reading weather. I'm so excited to spend my night like this.